సో విల్ గో విత్ ది ఇరోజెంటల్ ట్రాంగిల్ సో ఇరోజెంటల్ ట్రాంగిల్ ద బౌండరీస్ సార్ ఆంటీరియర్లీ యూ హ్యావ్ ది లోయర్ బాట్ ఆఫ్ పిబిక్ సింఫెసిస్ విత్ ఇన్ఫీరియర్ ఆర్క్యూట్ లిగమెంట్ అండ్ పోస్టియర్లీ ఇన్ మ్యాజర్ లైన్ జాయినింగ్ ద టూ ఇష్కేల్ జియోగ్రాఫీస్ ఆన్ ఐదర్ సైడ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ది కన్జాయింట్ ఇష్క్యూ పిబిక్ రామ్ ఇఫ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ హియర్ this is the ischio pubic rami on the lateral side and clearly this is the pubic symphysis lower border and these are the two ischial tuberosities so an imaginary line joining these two from here to here this forms a triangle erogenital triangle here if we go deeply further we have traced taken out the skin we have given incision skin and then deep to that is the superficial fascia here you know that in the abdomen superficial fascia is having two layers called as superficial fatty layer and deep membranous layer deep membranous layer is called in the perineum we call them as a colis fascia so this colis fascia it further when we trace it upwards it continues as the fascia of the scrotum we call it as a darter's muscle and continues as the fascia of the penis and continuation of the fascia of the uh, abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall here we call in the anterior abdominal wall the same fascia we call it as the fascia scarpa so this continues above towards the abdomen so deep fascia we don't have deep fascia here so superficial fascia is having two layers superficial fatty and deep membranous layer deep membranous layer is also called as the colis fascia here you can see this is a colis fascia and we have entered into the pouch actually that is why i have taken out the uh, colis fascia if you observe here if i pass a probe it goes upwards towards the fascia of the scrotum also called as the darter's muscle so this is a superficial uh, deep membranous layer of the superficial fascia and if you further go down we have another membrane called as the perineal membrane so this perineal membrane is nothing but uh, deep to this superficial fascia you have uh, erogenital diaphragm erogenital diaphragm means any diaphragm if you take this is uh, containing one muscle and it is covered by two layers so the muscle is covered by two layers so inferior layer of the erogenital diaphragm and this is called as the superior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm inferior fascia superior fascia between these two we have a muscle called as the Uh, sphincter urethral muscle so this is uh, called as the erogenital diaphragm so this inferior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm we call it as the perineal membrane so this perineal membrane and here lies the uh, sphincter urethral and this is the superior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm and over that above is the colis fascia so colis fascia perineal membrane sphincter urethral and then you have the a uh, superior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm so these are the layers we have and in between these three layers we have pouches so between the colis fascia and the superficial uh, and the perineal membrane we have a space called as the uh, superficial perineal space and between the perineal membrane also called as the inferior fascia of erogenital diaphragm and the superior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm we have a space called as the deep perineal space where we have the muscle called as the sphincter urethral so uh, this keep it in mind these layers the first layer i have told you this is the colis fascia and deeply you have this fascia is called as the inferior fascia of the erogenital diaphragm this is called as the perineal membrane also called as the perineal membrane so this forms between the colis fascia and the perineal membrane this space is called as the superficial perineal space so the contents of the superficial perineal space are uh, main content is the uh, urethra root of the penis with the urethra and the muscles we see here are the this is a bulbospongiosus muscle this muscle is a bulbospongiosus and this is a ischiocavernosus muscle so this is a bulbospongiosus and ischiocavernosus and we have these are the superficial transverse muscle which are going horizontally they are the superficial transverse muscle these three are present as the content of the superficial perineal pouch and the other contents are if you observe the nerves you can see the nerves here going along with the Uh, ischiocavernous muscle the nerve is the you know that pudendal nerve continues from the lesser sciatic foramen through the pudendal canal and from here one branch is the ischio uh, inferior rectal nerve and if you further come out here this nerve also gives rise to the perineal branch this perineal branch supplies the muscles of the superficial perineal pouch and not only that posterior scrotal nerve it will give and if further it uh, gives rise to the continuous as the nerve of the penis so nerve of the penis and along with the nerve we have vessels also here that is the continuation of the internal pudendal artery so internal pudendal artery also it gives first branch gives is given in the uh, um, ischiorectal fossa that nerve is called as inferior rectal nerve if you pass into the erogenital diaphragm it gives branches called as the uh, you know that posterior scrotal vessels and then it also gives rise to the 
pineal branch and continue as the artery of the penis. This artery of the penis gives rise to the four branches here. See, you can see branches called as the because the urethra is uh, piercing the bulbous spongiosis, it is supplied by the urethral artery and also, also called as the artery of the bulb, artery of the uh, penis, deep artery of the penis and continue as the dorsal artery of the penis. So these are the branches of the uh, internal and pudendal artery and the perineal nerve on the lateral side of the uh, erogenital uh, triangle. So these are the branches here. And uh, other contents are the, you know that if it is in the bulbo glands also will be seen in the superficial perineal space. So this is a perineal membrane here. So this is about, and if you take out this perineal membrane, we go into the deep perineal space. If you take out the perineal membrane, rupture this one, we'll go into the deep perineal space. There lies the muscle called as the sphincter urethra. So sphincter urethra will be seen deep to that. So this space where I have passed my probe, this is a deep perineal pouch. And this is about the superficial perineal pouch and the deep perineal pouch. And if you observe here, this superficial, I told you in the beginning that we have three layers, this uh, colis fascia and then uh, perineal membrane. And then we have the another layer called as the superior fascia of the original diaphragm. All the three are fixed in the posterior border. Here, they, all the three layers are fixed and all the three layers are fixed on the lateral side also to the ischial, uh, conjoined ischial pubic gramen. Uh, on the anterior side, only these two layers, pineal membrane and the superficial erogenital diaphragm, only they are fused here. But whereas the colis fascia is continuous above, so there is a gap. If there is any rupture of the urine, uh, rupture of the urethra, the urine will be passing into the superficial perineal pouch and continuous above, deep to the uh, fascia of the uh, scrotum, deep to the fascia of the penis and deep to the fascia of the uh, anterior abdominal. So the urine can be passed towards the abdomen when there is rupture of the urethra in the uh, superficial perineal pouch. So that means there is a gap between the uh, uh, colis fascia and the inferior fascia of the uh, erogenital diaphragm. So this is about this uh, uh, superficial fascia, superficial pouch and deep perineal pouch in the erogenital diaphragm.